Okay, I'm just going to show you how to set up GitLab Runner to use Docker Compose. I have this project in GitLab and it uses Docker Compose. It's quite a complicated little Docker Compose. It has two processes running in it. One's an Nginx, which is public facing, and then there's a Python Flask API on the back end. Just managing the data. Your Docker Composers are probably really complicated as well. But anyway, I want GitLab Runner to automatically install and run Docker Compose on my server whenever I make a change to the production branch or to run tests on the develop branch. So it's develop, I've got two branches here, two main branches, production and develop. You probably have a lot more branches. I'm just going to keep this demo quick and simple anyway. CICD, why is it so good? Well, one of the things I like is all the history and all the errors that you can always go back and check out if you like. For example, there was a problem here. I can go back and look at that. There was a problem during deployment and there's enough information in there for me to figure that out. Anyway, I'm going to get on with it now first thing I'm going to need to do is uh, get myself a server somewhere on the internet. I'm going to use DigitalOcean because it's nice and cheap. I've already got a GitLab runner running there but I'm just going to delete that one. Destroy that. Cool. And I'm just going to create another one. Excellent. So let's just create another one. Just a very simple basic Ubuntu server. I'm just going to have minimum, cheapest one. going to put it in Amsterdam and I'm going to call it Sean's, uh, hold on, Sean's GitLab Runner. There we go. And now I'm going to create that will take a minute and we'll get an IP address okay I'm gonna open up putty and I'm gonna log in okay I'm already logged on I'm logged on now the process now to set up a GitLab runner you can generally get from the GitLab runner page dedicated to this and uh, I'm going to follow mostly those steps. Uh, normally you would do a Ubuntu upgrade and update. I'm just going to bypass that and keep this nice and quick. sudo wget the GitLab runner binary. Okay, chmod. I have to call that one now. Okay, we now have to create a GitLab user. Okay, run the GitLab install. GitLab runner install. Let's uh, start GitLab runner. We can verify it's running by looking at top. I think it's down the bottom somewhere. There it is, right at the bottom. Okay, let's uh, now register GitLab Runner. Please enter the GitLab CI coordinator. Okay, so the default is that one. That's very good. Please enter the GitLab CI token. Okay, this is how you get that. Go into your GitLab project and down here in settings, the bottom left, CICD. So in runners, expand. You may have shared runners enabled, so you can just click that and, and have it off like I've got. But you want to set up a specific runner manually. So we're going to use this 
token here. Copy. There we go. That's the CI token. Please enter the GitLab description. Okay, my runner. Please enter the tags. I'm not going to have any tags. Register succeeded. Now enter the executor. I'm going to use the shell executor. Okay, it says it's running all good, but there's a few more things to do. We need to add Docker to the GitLab runner user. We also need to add GitLab runner to the sudoers. Whoops, sudo nano sudoers. If I go down here, I'm going to add GitLab runner like this. All, no password, all. Enter. Control X. I will save by pressing Y and enter to overwrite. That's good. Now I will sudo GitLab runner restart. That is GitLab Runner running on a DigitalOcean server. Uh, you could be using AWS or Azure or anything else. Doesn't really matter. It's just an Ubuntu server running GitLab Runner. Now, if I to, was to refresh this page, we should see some information. Okay, so the runner has activated. Let's just have a look at this runner okay that's good indicates whether this runner can pick jobs about tags okay and it's locked excellent my runner that's all good let's go over to the pipelines these are all the old pipelines from my previous runner which I've deleted but I'm gonna just go to the project and delete the CY just delete that and then we'll build a new one okay delete that file uh, I have to delete it from uh, actually all my all my branches. Delete and also delete it from develop. Delete. Radio. We're in develop. I'm going to create a GitLab runner file. New file or a GitLab CI YML. I'm gonna, just gonna apply a, any template doesn't matter, I'm just gonna use bash and get rid of all of that. And I'm gonna put in pretty much exactly what I had before. Uses the image Docker, Docker in Docker. It's got two stages, test and deploy. Now the test stage is gonna run on the develop branch and the production branch and the deploy stage is only going to run on the production branch so stage deploy and stage test there and the test stage at the moment is only going to print this run tests in this section doesn't really do anything other than that but the deploy stage will actually run this script sudo apt get install y python pip I actually don't need that bit or that. Uh, it will call pip install docker compose, docker compose up the build environment production when manual. That means I will have to start it manually whenever I make a change to the production branch. And I'll demo that. Save that. And then we'll go and look at the, the docker compose again. There is the docker compose that it will be running. Um, let's go to develop okay GitLab CIYML so what we'll do is we'll look at the pipelines test passed we can look at that run tests in this section that was triggered on the development branch there we go develop um, 
just because I created that new file inside the GitLab inter interface. But what I'm going to do is go to my project, which I have for my local computer, and I'm going to write something. I'm in the develop branch down the bottom, and I'm going to just write something like my amazing change. Now I'm going to push that to uh, GitLab. So git commit a demo change git push okay let's go and look at GitLab pipelines there we go a new pipeline has just uh, been added to the list and it's actually passed because it's not really doing anything it's just printing that line run tests now we're going to do something a little more exciting we're going to merge that amazing change into production git check out uh, production switch to production git pull or up to date git merge develop and there's a conflict git add git commit and pushing to production git Okay, let's go and have a look at pipelines. Okay, so the first, this is the production pipeline now. The first bit, the test passed. The second bit, I have to start manually. So let's uh, start that off. And let's actually see what it's doing. Okay, so running with GitLab Runner, using the shell executor, fetching changes. Okay, sudo apt get install y python pip. Yep, it's doing that. Then pip install docker compose. It's doing that. Docker compose up. It's now building my project. So it's building Sean's Angular 6, Python 2.7 Slim. This is all from the Docker Compose. And this is all running on the new server that I just bought from DigitalOcean. Job succeeded. See, creating Nginx. Sorry, creating Nginx. There we go. Let's go and visit that server and see whether we can see anything. And there's my application. And that data comes from a Python API backend, and these this user interface is just Angular 6. That project is here in GitLab. That's the Docker Compose. Let's uh, have a look at the production. That's the Docker Compose. That's the GitLab CI YML. And there's some sample code that you can look at. And the that address is incorrect now. Doesn't matter. You will set this up yourself probably and 
Here's my amazing change. What we just did was I have a project here. Sean's Angular 6 Python Flask Boilerplate. It's public and that's it and you can copy that locally. But what it, what it does is a Docker Compose which builds the whole thing, builds an Nginx proxy which hosts the static HTML which happens to be Angular 6 but it also is a proxy for the Flask API and you can get to a via slash API and then Eng then GitLab runner upon any changes to the production branch pushes it to the server that I just bought from DigitalOcean link in the description and then the internet can get it brilliant that's GitLab runner with docker compose thanks for watching like comment subscribe and share